This is Deb with Four Seasons Crafts, and I am super excited to share with you um, how to make this adhesive and tool caddy. So let me show you a couple of them, but this is what they look like, and they hold your various tools, as well as all the different adhesives that Stampin' Up! offers. I absolutely love it. Let me show you one I made several years ago that actually has so many things in it. So this is what um, it fits. So I can fit my Tombow glue here, my the um, glue dots. Oops. Then I have a place for my stampin uh, my stampin seal, my fine tip glue, all of my. Uh, glue dots and then I can also put in my tear and tape here and then I even have a place for all my scissors and my little ruler and markers oops something stuck there um I can also fit my bone folder in there but I absolutely love it I used to have all my adhesives on the table and even when I had them in a basket it was really hard to find them and this has made it so much nicer so I want to give a little credit, um, and I, I don't know the person's name, so I guess I'm not giving um, all the credit I would like to, but somebody created a caddy, and they made half of it, they, and you could fit your, um, your glue dots and your Tombow, and then there was a place for like tear and tape and your adhesives, and I loved it. I just found that when I sat it down, it had a tendency to, to kind of tip over, so I also decided I wanted one that could hold all of my different types of adhesive, and I thought this one was perfect. So I wanted to share it with you guys on how to make it, and I actually added a little handle here so that you can actually carry it, and I actually take it with me uh, when I go to different stamping events because it gives me all my adhesive in one place. Uh, the other the other thing I do is, a, as a demonstrator, when we have classes, I can put these on the table and all the adhesive that people might need is right there and it keeps things very neat um, on the table. So if you're a demonstrator, it might be something you want to consider making maybe for uh, your tables when people come if you provide some of those adhesives. Uh, and then obviously um, when new demonstrators join my team, I actually fill it with adhesive and then send it to them after they place kind of their first order. So I love them. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let me um, show you the PDF. So on my blog at fourseasonscrafts.com, I will have this PDF out there, and you can see it has all the measurements for all the different pieces you need, as well as the scoring. And then you also are going to see all the instructions. And when you watch this video, I'm gonna show you the process that I went through to create them and then the steps are here. Some things are just a little harder to explain. It's just easier to see. And then you're also gonna get pictures of what the boxes, of what each section should look like on the outside of the box and then on the inside of the box. And I found it just really helpful um, because then you know where to put your tape and where do you put your designer series paper. So again, we'll go through all of that. But right now, let's go ahead and start. Um, so one of the things I would encourage you to do is get yourself a little a stack um, or just a few post-it notes. And I'm going to show you how we're going to use those. So the way the instructions are broken down is they're broken down by the element on the box. So these are like the main boxes, and then you're gonna have one that says for the Tombow glue, one for the glue dots, and all those names are listed here. So the measurements are so close that you wanna make sure that you know which pieces is which when you go to glue them down. So I found this little system to be quite helpful. So I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do one box and then we'll actually go through and I have the rest of them, the rest of them cut. So we'll use this as our kind of our example. So we're going to make the glue dot box and that is going to be five inches by six inches for our cardstock. So we're going to go ahead 
and cut that off. And then we're going to need that piece of cardstock to be six inches this way. All right, so now we have our measurements for our glue dot box. So what I do is I have a post-it note here. So after you cut each piece of cardstock, put what box it goes with on that piece of paper. All right, that way you know exactly what is what. Now we're gonna use, um, I'm using some designer series paper that I have left from the Rings of Gold, uh, or Rings of Love, I'm sorry. It was one of the uh, free packages of DSP from Celebration. And I thought this is perfect. This is a great way if you have some of those pieces left over to use them for this box because you can use, it's like one strip of one 12 by 12 sheet of designer series paper and you'll still have some left over. So we're working with the glue dot box. So the pieces that we're going to need is we are going to need a piece that is one and three fourths by three fourths. And that's gonna fit on one side of our box. And then you're going to need another piece that is two and three fourths. So this is two and three fourths by one and three fourths. So we're gonna go ahead and put it there at one and three fourths and cut that. And these are the two pieces of designer series paper that are gonna go with our glue dot box. So we're just gonna keep all of that together. You are going to do that same process for all six boxes, two main boxes, and then the four outer boxes. And I have done that ahead of time so that we can um, move through a little, a little more quickly. So once you cut your cardstock and your designer series paper, we are gonna bring in our scoreboard here. And you can use your paper trimmer to do this. I find that the scoreboard is just a lot more helpful in getting those exact measurements. Um, because sometimes, you know, on your, on your paper trimmer, you're actually kind of lining up. And sometimes you might go a little over, a little before the line, sometimes right on the line. And uh, the scoreboard just keeps us, keeps us honest. Okay, so... For those of you, as you read the instructions, it talks about a short side and a long side. So of course, this is our six inch side, so that's our long side, and then this is our short side. So in the instructions, it says for the glue dot box, we need to score it on the short side at one inch and four inches. So we're gonna take our tool here and we're gonna line it up to one inch, and we're gonna go down at one inch, and we are going to go down at four inches. All right, then we're gonna go to our long side and we are going to score at three inches and four inches. There you have it. So that is it. And you are going to find every single box that you do, the measurements might be slightly different because the boxes are slightly different. But one thing you're always gonna end up with, and I'm gonna go ahead and write on I'm gonna go ahead and write on this one because I do have another one to make sure that you guys can see. So I'm gonna use my white marker here. Let me see if I can just zoom in just a little bit here for you. All right, so you're always gonna have this, these, these boxes right here, okay? So we have a line here, a score line. This is what our score lines look like, okay? And again, we'll write on this one because we have another one. Okay, so that's what your, that's, those are your score lines. So what we're gonna do is these two, every, every one of your boxes has these two squares. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our, our snips and we're just gonna cut along, and then you're gonna cut at an angle, you know, just to get that little bit of extra weight out there. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna turn this over now, so I don't want the white lines to, okay? So I'm gonna notch it out, 
and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to I'm going to snip up to that first score line, and then I'm going to go again, and there I'll have it. Now I have what looks like a little a little tab. Okay, and we'll go up a little bit. Now we're going to go over here and do the exact same thing. So on every one of your boxes, you are going to create those two tabs. Now, one of the things I found was, I found it a little, I found it simpler to cut and then furnish the ends. So you need to decide what's better, like what you prefer. Uh, if you prefer, you know, going ahead and taking your bone folder and doing the edges, or if you prefer um, cutting. So I'm going to go ahead now and take my bone folder and go along all of those score lines. Okay. This will give us nice, easy edges to work with. Um, one of the other elements I failed to mention that we're going to need to cut, um, you're going to need two strips six inches by a half inch this is in the instructions um i just wanted to make sure i told you that as well because we're going to be um, putting that on our box all right so here we have it so here is our box to this point now we went ahead and we um, burnished our lines so based on how it's laying now this is kind of the inside of my box and then this would be the outside of my box okay um, because when I close it now that everything's burnished when I close it let me show you how you're gonna how you're gonna close it and and um, glue it but we're not gonna glue it right this second what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring these the back of the box up okay so I'm gonna fold it this way so you can see it I'm gonna bring the back of the box up then I'm gonna put I'm going to put glue on these inside or tear and tape and I'm going to bring those up to the side and, and glue those on and then I'm going to bring the front of my box up and over like that. So this is how it will look. So the opening of the flap is going to go so it's going toward the back of your box because you don't want it to... Um, let me show you. You don't want that to be in in the front. Let me just show you the let me show you the wrong way to do it, right? Um, there we go. Because do you see how then I see that I'm gonna see the seam there and we don't want to see the we don't want to see the seam. We want that hidden in the back of our box. Okay. So the other thing you have to be careful of when you're going ahead and gluing is I mentioned you want to make sure you put your adhesive on this on these inside tabs. You you don't want the tabs to go in and then this to go around. You want those little tabs to be between your two flaps. And again, the reason is is if those flaps are on the inside of my box, when I put things in, it could it could hit alongside those little those little tabs. So we might as well hide them in between. It's going to give us a much cleaner look. So let's go ahead and um, I want to show you the picture of the inside boxes. Okay. So this we said was our glue dot box. So that's it right here. So you can see here. I need. I need tear and tape or adhesive there, and then I also need it along these edges, okay? And again, you're gonna notice it's the shorter, um, it's the shorter edge, all right? There's our bottom when we set it up, okay? This is the bottom part that we're talking about here. All right, so I hope that makes sense. So that's the inside of our box and where we would want to put tear and tape. Now I'm going to go ahead and put tear and tape on this one because I again, I want you to um I want you to see it uh, so that you you know where things where things need to go. So again, if I look at my picture, let's bring that in so we can this is the this is my box that I'm creating and I'm just going to put 
a piece of tear and tape here, here. And one thing when you do put it on, you want to get it as close to the edges as possible because you want to get it, you want to get that flap closed. Okay. And then we're going to go up here and do another one. Now, again, you can use tear and tape. Tear and tape's the strongest, I would say. However, you absolutely can use Tombow and you absolutely can use Stamp and Seal Plus. Any one of those will work on all of these. Um, you might just find uh, it's just a little more sturdy with the tear and tape. But I have done some of these. Honestly, I've created them with, and we're going to use Tombow for the most part, just because it's a little quicker than uh, the tear and tape. But it certainly is. Um, this is a great, great... tool right here so this is a good this is and tear and tape is a great adhesive but you'll be able to you'll be able to um, pick and choose what you want all right so now you can see it looks similar to our picture not completely yet okay now we're going to flip it over and we're also going to then look at our outside of our box so here's our glue dot box again let me uh, hold that up there can you see it so now I have tear and tape back here, and then I have my two pieces of designer series paper that I cut. So now on the back side of my box, I'm gonna take, here's my sticker, I'm gonna take one piece and put it here, just like the picture shows. And then I'm going to take the other piece I have and I'm gonna put it on this end. So now we're going to go ahead and just use Tombow. When you're putting down your designer series paper, obviously you don't need to, you don't need to um, use tear and tape for that, right? We can use just our um, our snail or not snail, our stamp and seal, or you can use just your Tombow glue. It's fine, whatever you prefer. And everyone has a preference, right? Okay, so there we go. And again, these white lines would not be here. Those were just so that you guys could see uh, what this would look like. Okay, now up here, if I would be using uh, Stampin' and Seal or Tombow, I wouldn't put this tape here until I'm actually ready to glue it to my box, okay? the Like the bigger box. Because right now, if we say this is for our, this is the one we're creating right now, this is a glue dot box, I wouldn't put tape on the back, back in here, until I'm actually ready to glue it down on, okay? But if you're gonna put tear and tape on, it's perfect, right? Because, and I'm just gonna go ahead and put a couple strips on here, just so that we can see what that's like. All right, and now, so there you have it, okay? You're gonna do that with all of your boxes on the outside and on the inside. You're gonna glue everything down or put your tear and tape down. And now we're ready for the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. So when you get all the pieces to look exactly like they do in these images, and again, one shows what the outside should look like, the other one shows what the inside should look like. And again, I just want to point out these two um, boxes here, those are designer series paper. They didn't come out very well in the photo, um, but those are two pieces of, of uh, DSP that you'll see. Okay, so now we are ready to glue our boxes and put it together. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one in. This has all of my boxes ready to go. You will see um, I have each one just like the picture, minus the glue, of course, because I'm gonna just use some, some Tombow here uh, to make it quicker. So I have my two, my two big boxes here and then my four smaller ones here. So let's go ahead and start and we'll use the one that we've been using, our glue dot box. So now we're ready to glue it. So if we remember from our picture, 
This is the inside of our box. I need glue here, 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 and here. All right, so we're gonna put some glue here on both these tabs. Okay, so the first one, we're gonna use some Tombow glue here. All right, and we'll just put this, pick this up, and then you're just gonna take the tabs, oops, and lift those up as well. So here, let me show you this way. So we just wanna make sure it's um, right up against the edge there. I got a little too much glue here. And we'll just put that down there. Okay, so our tabs now are on the outside. You guys can see that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these two and we're gonna put some glue on them, some Tombow on these. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it up and then just wrap these two sides around our box like that. And there we have it, okay? And now you can just kind of push down on those two sides to get it to go down. Now, if you want, you can also take your bone folder and just rub it alongside of both of those. And there you have a nice, a nice box. Okay, so we know how to put tear and tape on. Um, we've, we've put um, this one on with glue. Let's take another one. And now we're gonna use our stamp and seal. And again, the same thing applies. We're just gonna put, and, and I'm using, um, the Stampin' Seal Plus here, okay, there you go, Stampin' Seal Plus, and then I'm going to run it down the sides here, oops, let me get that going, and we'll just put a couple strips, again, you want to get it close to those edges there, and then we're going to do the same thing here. Do a strip and another strip, and then the same thing on this side. Oops. There we go. All right, so again, same process. We're gonna kind of pull these in, these two, um, these two tabs go up on the side and up on the side. And then we're gonna take this side, push it up, and then wrap it around. And again, the biggest thing you wanna make sure is that your sides are even with the ends of your boxes here. And then this part is even down here. Super, make sure it's super straight there. That is, that is it. So now we have all of our boxes. Now what we need to do, if you look at the picture, you're gonna see these are at an angle, okay? So these I cut beforehand. You can cut them before, cut them after, totally up to you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you on our practice box how to do it um, beforehand, and then um, I'll show you how to do one here. So here is our one that we did, remember with our chalk drawings? So let me show you. What you're gonna do is you're going to assemble your box uh, even though you're not going to glue your box. So, okay, so I'm just gonna put those tabs together like they would go. They don't all have to be you know, exact. You're just gonna line them up. And then I'm gonna hold it. Then I'm gonna take my pair of scissors here and what you're going to do is you're going to you're going to line your scissors up from point to point. And I want to show you here. So you got to make sure just make sure that it's all you're holding it down, okay? And it's nice and even. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to line them up first so they're from point to point if you can see that. And then I'm just going to trim and look at that, it, that's that simple. Now here's one thing I have noticed. Um, if I try to do this one here closest to me at another angle, 
I don't know why, but for whatever reason, it's just harder for me to get right up into that corner. So what I find is I turn it so whatever end I'm cutting is further away from me. And then I do it from over here. All you're going to do is just make sure you go point to point. I just wanted to give you that little, and look at it. Isn't that great? So that's what gives us all these angle cuts. You do that on every single box. So we're going to do that now for each one of our, each one of our boxes here. So I'm just going to take my scissors and I am going to literally go point to point. And we'll do this um, straight away on all of our boxes here. And again, line up our scissors from the from either the bottom to the top or the top to the bottom. And I'm still gonna keep those little post-it notes in there because I kind of still need to know which box is which. And here, I think, oops, now that one, you'll see I was um, going a little too quickly there, so I didn't quite get to the top. So I'm gonna just line it up again, and there I go. So if you accidentally cut it wrong, you should be able to fix that right up. Oops, there we go. Here's another one I, oops. There we go. All right, now I'll take all of my scraps here and we'll get this all out of our way. So we have a nice clean workspace. All right, kind of done with our Tombow folder. All right, so now we have all of our boxes. So now we are ready to start putting it all together. All right. So the first thing we're going to need is our two handles. So we are going to go ahead and glue these together. Now, again, um, you can use Tombow. Uh, you could use your um, stamp and seal. I, I do like the Tombow for this one just because I can get it a little bit closer. All right. So here we go. And we'll put those together. And there we have it. So those are our handles. We're going to do one more thing, but we're going to let that dry. So the first thing we need to do is we need to put these two boxes together because these are our bases. So if you recall, if we go back to our drawing here, we had one box on the outside with tear and tape. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take one of our um, boxes here and we are going to add tear and tape. And this is going to make it nice and strong for our box to be um, not only adhere to um, each other, but this is also going to be where we put our handles on our box. So we want to make sure uh, that it's nice and secure so that we don't uh, lose any of our nice tools or our adhesive in our box. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go up. Here we are. And we're gonna put a piece across. <clears throat> and there we go. And you wanna get it, like I said, as close as you can to the edge. Now, I would, I would recommend, and I didn't do it here, and I should have, um, you want to make sure you do this tear and tape before you put your boxes together, just because then you're working on a, on a flat surface, where right now I'm a little bit pushing on the box after it's already been folded. All right, this is very exciting. There we go. And we're gonna leave that out just for a minute. Now we're gonna bring in our uh, take your pick tool. This little edge right here is great for peeling this uh, paper off of the tear and tape. So we're gonna do that. And 
and we're just gonna lift all these off. Oops, there we go. So you guys will have to comment if you have uh, kind of a favorite adhesive. I mean, do you prefer the stamp and seal? Kind of like a, a tape runner, or do you like the Tombow? I find I like them both. I, I just, um, I use Tombow more often just because I think it's easier. Okay, now we need to put our handle on, but before we do, this has had a chance just kind of to dry because we use Tombow. You're gonna take your bone folder, and all I want you to do is to just curl this up a little bit. Just just all you're doing is kind of loosening up those um, those fibers. You can do it both ways, one way, doesn't really matter. You're just making it so that it's a little more flexible. But this is gonna be now the handle to our box. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna bend them either way, okay? You're gonna bend them kind of like a, a U. Kind of looks like University of Miami, uh, is, it, is it the University of Miami or something that has that U on it? And then you're gonna take and put them out because you want it to have good balance, but right on your tear and tape, about a, maybe a quarter inch, and you're just gonna put those right down evenly on your tear and tape, right like that. So you wanna have distance, about the same distance on both sides. Now, what I would recommend is that you take another piece of tear and tape and put it across the handle. And this just is going to allow us to kind of reinforce that uh, area there is all. Okay, it's just going to give us a little bit more, a little bit more um, security there on our on our handle. So we're going to take that off. You know, the other thing I thought would be super cool, and I just didn't take the time to do it, was you could probably use brads if you wanted like some little notches, you know, on this side, and you could punch a hole and use some brads to uh, adhere that. Um, adhere the handle to the box. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Okay, we are ready to glue these together. So the biggest thing you need to do is make sure that they are straight, that the points and the points are straight. So what you're gonna do is you're going to just line up as you put them together, the bottom, you're gonna line it up on the bottom and make sure they're straight and then line them at the top and make sure they're straight. So you are not only making sure that they are straight corner to corner, but make sure that they are straight this way as well. All right, so you're just lining them up just like you would line up anything else. And then you're just gonna kinda push them down there um, with a bone folder or with your hands, but you're just pressing that tear and tape kinda together in that box. And there you have, there is your first first part. Now you could stop here and like it like a little purse. Yeah, cute. Okay, now here is what you have. Um, let me show you. You have two like skinny boxes, right? See how one is smaller than another. And then you have two other boxes. One's a little bit thicker than the other. The two thin boxes, glue dots, Combo, go on one side, stamp and seal, fine tip liquid glue goes on the other. You can now remove all of your post-it notes. You don't really need them anymore because now we have everything, um, everything decided where it needs to go. Okay, so we're just gonna move um, our, our post-it notes out of the way. And now we're ready to adhere these to our box. Now, um, what I uh, suggest doing, I guess, is first gluing the boxes together here. And really, you just have to, you can glue them at top and the bottom or just from 
the line here and down. Totally up to you. Um, I kind of prefer to glue them all the way up. So that's how I'm going to do it. And I, again, you can use tear and tape for this or you can use liquid glue for this. Totally, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> you could use Tombow, tear and tape or your um, stamp and seal. But I'm going to go ahead and glue these two together. And again, you'll just want to make sure that they're straight. And then we're going to do something a little different on the back. So what I have found, guys, is when it's adhering to the big box, I, I do like to use the tear and tape. So, okay, there we go. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and put some tear and tape on the back. And we are going to put it so it goes all the way across both boxes. So it just, and I'm pushing them together as I lay this down. And then I'm going to stop at the edge. And I'm going to do two more. I'm going to do kind of one in the middle. And again, I'm going to be pushing the boxes together as I lay this down. There we go. And then we're going to do one more at the top. All right, there we have it. So now we have three strips here, and now we're gonna take it and we're gonna put it on, um, we're gonna adhere it to this side of our box. Again, when you do, just make sure it's flat so that the bottoms line up here. Now, one thing too I wanna show you, do you see how there's just a slight, slight difference on this one? There's just a little bit showing on both sides. So this one you have to kind of center. The other one lines up completely. Um, I don't know why that is, probably in the measurements, but um, anyhow, that's how it goes. So we're gonna go ahead and take this tear and tape off and then we're going to adhere it to our box. And we are about done. We just have the other side to connect. So in this case, I'm going to make sure I can see where it lines up. And then I am just going to lean it right up against there. Make sure I have a nice even. And, a, and it's um, on the bottom. You know, it's straight on the bottom there. Before I glue it down or adhere it down. And, you know, um, tear and tape. It's kind of like when you stick it up there, right? It kind of just goes down. So there we have it. So that is our side of our box. And we have one more. So let's go ahead and adhere. And just to use something different, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can use our, our, uh, stay. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm off camera here. Let's see if we can use some of our, um, stamp and seal here. And we'll use this right here on the side of this box. And like I said, um, can use whatever. All right, here we go. We will attach those together and again. Push them together. And now we're just going to put our tear and tape on the back, and we are golden. Okay, here we go. So I was thinking, guys, if you know someone who's not a crafter but would like to make one of these, I thought you could put tea in it. Um, with some spoons and some cinnamon sticks and things that they might enjoy in their tea. And you could fill this up and they could have it on their desk at home or work or um, 
you know, if you know an elderly person, be, they could put it in their in their room, you know, if they're in like a retirement facility or nursing home. I thought, oh, wouldn't that be clever? You could fill it with different candies. Um, so lots and lots of different uh, options there. Okay, so now we are going to just take this tearing tape off. Put it on the back and we are all done. Okay, so remember, take our main box, we're going to line it up. Make sure it's nice and straight and lined up on the edges. And there you have it, give it a little squeeze from the inside. And there you guys have it. Isn't that just lovely? That's the bottom. And now you can fill it with whatever items you wanna fill it with to give to someone as a gift or, um, you know, or just to, to make for yourself for your craft room. But now everything is in one place and then I can even take my tools and put them right in here. So I hope you guys loved it. Lots of different ways you can use this. Um, you can use your scrap paper here uh, for like we did for this one. Um, this was just some other, uh, oops, some other options there. All right, and don't forget if you go to um, FourSeasonsCrafts.com, you can download the PDF and it's got all the measurements, all the instructions, and those two um, images for you to be able to make your own. All right, guys, thanks for joining and have a great night. Bye.